In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for NBr2 minus. I'm not positive that this compound exists, but if you're asked to draw this Lewis structure, this is how you do it. First, count up the valence electrons. 5 for nitrogen, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. Bromine, group 17, that'll be 7. We have two of those. And then we have an extra electron up here. That gives us a total of 20 valence electrons for the NBr2 minus Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element in the center, that's the nitrogen, and then we'll put a bromine atom on either side. Next, we'll put a pair of electrons between atoms. That's going to form our chemical bond. This will be a single bond. Then we can complete the octets on the atoms on the outside, the bromines. So we've used 16 valence electrons. We'll complete the octets on the nitrogen, and we've used 20. So this is the Lewis structure for NBr2 minus. We should put brackets around it and put a negative sign outside since it is an ion. And if we look at the formal charge, the formal charges, we have bromine, that'll be zero. Both of the bromines are zero. The nitrogen is the minus one. So when we look at the charge here, that's where we're seeing that charge here in our ion. If you need help with the molecular geometry and bond angles, there's a link in the description to a similar structure. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for NBr2 minus. Thanks for watching.